you see, we live in a generation that are full of very proud people. So in the Old Testament, when you see people, they place emphasis on the blessing. Because the blessing is what changed the stories of people. So when Esau appeared before Isaac, and Isaac said, I have given the blessing to Jacob, Esau went. Because they knew the value of the blessing. The blessing is a very creative force of God. The blessing is God's empowerment. The blessing is God's priceless treasure. It's an asset of inestimable value. The blessing is not a car. The blessing is not a house. The blessing, the effect, one of the effects is the car. So when you hear the sound of a car crawling, that is not the car. It's, it's a sign that there is a cock in existence. So the blessing is not the car. But when you have the blessing, a car will come. So a car is the effect of the blessing. In the name of Jesus, somebody just entered into a sweatless realm of breakthrough. You have entered a sweatless realm of breakthrough. So, contrary to popular opinion, the blessing is more than material manifestation. The blessing is what affords every need. The Bible said that God blessed them and said unto them. So the blessing came before he said unto them, be fruitful and have dominion. So to walk in dominion, you need to have the blessing to be able to walk in dominion. The blessing of God was what laid the foundation for Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden. In other words, the blessing of God literally guaranteed their future. So what guarantees the future of man is the blessing. Today, every aura around you that repels good things, that aura is being eradicated by the blessing. 